Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'll be bringing you another video, and the topic of today's video is my EDC, which stands for Everyday Carry. Now, to a lot of people, that can mean different things. To me personally, it's kind of in the name, Everyday Carry. Uh, so for something to qualify as my Everyday Carry, I've got to be carrying it on a consistent basis at least 99% of the time. If you're stuffing your pocket with a lot of flashy gear, but you're not actually carrying it on a consistent basis, in my opinion, that doesn't really fall under EDC. But like I said, that is just my opinion, and you can't change that. With that said, let me go ahead and jump right in and show you what I carry. The first thing is going to be my hat. Uh, regardless of what hat I'm wearing, this is something I do to all of them. Here inside of the band, I will add a zip tie. This is like a 14, 16 inch zip tie. I know this may seem a little odd to some of you, uh, but zip ties and duct tape can really bail you out in a lot of situations. And having this one zip tie on me all the time has definitely bailed me out in a lot of cases. Next is going to be my keys. I keep them clipped on my belt loop right here on the front. Uh, this little carabiner is one that I picked up at Lowe's and I think I've had this thing for like five or six years. I have no idea of the brand of it, but it works really well. I have a lot of keys due to my job, so I have a good bit going on here. I also have a little saw key knife on here, which is kind of handy sometimes. I have a little cheap pry bar slash multi-tool. It's got a package opener, flathead screwdriver, and also a bottle opener. And then I also have the Streamlight Pocket Mate, which is a little rechargeable 350 lumen light. Um, I don't really use this thing that often. Honestly, the only time I do use it, coming home late at night, trying to get the key in the door, uh, this thing does come in handy. It does also have a little clip here on the back, so in a pinch, you could put it on the bill of your hat and you would have a headlight. Next, I have my pocket knife. So this is the Spyderco Bird Robin 2. It's a relatively small knife. It does have tip-up carry, which I prefer, uh, and it is a lock back, which I also prefer. I'm not a big fan of liner lock knives. I just don't find them to be that reliable. Uh, but I've been carrying this knife for Man, over a year now, it holds a good edge, easy to sharpen, and uh, it's just been a good little EDC knife. Next, I have my light. Uh, the one that I've been carrying for a while now, and uh, probably one of my all-time favorite EDC lights, is the Streamlight 2LX. So this light does run on two CR123 batteries. It is 500 lumens, and it is, uh, I believe, just over 6,000 candela. I really, really like this light. It also has the reverse clip, so it can be put on the bill of your hat for a headlight. I really like that. Um, it's not overly bright when you put it on low that you can't use it for just normal task, but it also has decent enough candela that it can serve as a possible defensive tool. So I'm carrying a handheld light for administrative tasks, just like a lot of people, but my number one reason for this light is a defensive item. Um, so just to gather a little bit more information and just see what's going on, maybe see what somebody has in their hands, um, or possibly blinding someone just for a second to buy me a little time so I can gather a little bit more info. So that's my light. I really love this light and I highly recommend it. Uh, next, I have a little multi-tool. Now this is the Gerber Dime. Um, I've been carrying this multi-tool a little over three years, probably closer to four. You can definitely see the wear on it. It's kind of polished smooth at this point. Um, it's bent, it's been abused, but it still works, and I still do really like this multi-tool. Um, I've said this in quite a few of my other videos. One of my favorite things about this multi-tool is the tweezers. Um, if you're like me and you're always working on stuff, I'm constantly getting splinters, and having tweezers in your pocket all the time um, is definitely something you want to appreciate until you have it. Next, I have a utility knife. This is the Gerber Pribird. So this is a utility knife with interchangeable blades. I've always been a big fan of carrying a utility knife. It just kind of saves the edge on your main carry knife. Um, so if you're doing a lot of heavy cutting, like on cardboard, I do a lot of that down here at the range and also on my job. Having a heavy duty utility knife is definitely, uh, definitely convenient. This one also has a pry bar that is integrated into it and a bottle opener. I really like the pry bar because the steel runs all the way through the entire body. Um, although I don't really use that pry bar a whole lot, it's nice to have it, and I definitely think this thing could bail you out, being that it is a one-piece construction through and throughout. Next, in my back right pocket, I have my wallet. Um, I've always carried these checkbook-style wallets. That's just kind of my favorite, um, and this one is made by Carhartt. I've been carrying it about six or eight months. Um, nothing special, does the job, and I like it. Next, I have mounted here on my belt in the horizontal position a CRK minimalist knife. Uh, this one does have the drop point blade. 
Um, now for me, this is not a knife that I'm going to use for any kind of work purposes like I would the Spyderco or definitely the Pryber Gerber. Um, this is more as a last resort self-defense item, and that is the only reason I carry this knife. I don't use it for opening packages or cutting anything. This is just as a last resort item. I like to carry it on the left side. That way, if for some reason, if I can't draw my firearm or if I'm needing to keep my firearm retained, I can access this knife with my left hand and kind of a uh, get-off-me tool, if you will. Next, in my left pocket right here, I have my backup magazine, uh, which is a Glock factory mag. It's a 17 round, and it is loaded with Federal 124 grain HSTs, which is my preferred carry load. And I have that riding in a reload wrap. Um, if you're not familiar with reload wraps, I have several videos on them, and I'll link them in the description. And I also have a coupon code with reload wrap. So if you would like to pick one of these up, you can use that code, and it'll get you 15% off your order. Um, I've been carrying with a reload wrap for going on three years now. They're made in the USA, and they do a good job. They just disappear in your pocket, but with practice, it can be very fast, and you can get that magazine out quickly. Next, I have my firearm. I do carry in the appendix position. And what I carry is a Glock 19 Gen 5. So this is a Generation 5 Glock 19. Has a TLR-7A weapon light. Um, every defensive firearm needs a weapon light. Without a weapon light, this gun only works half the time, and that's just no good. We have a set of Ameriglow backup sights. I have a Holosun 509T, which is an enclosed emitter red dot. Highly recommend this red dot. I have a whole video going over it that I'll also link in the description. And I have that mounted on a CNH Precision uh, adapter plate. And I also have the CNH Precision plugger, which is a grip plug that goes in the back of the Glock here that really accents the factory magwell of the Gen 5 Glock. I'm also carrying with a 15 round flush fit magazine that's also loaded with Federal HST. The holster that I'm wearing is the MIE Productions. Um, I've been carrying with these holsters for a couple years. Um, it's rare that I carry not a Glock 19, but regardless of what gun I carry, this is my absolute favorite holster. You can get them in all kind of colors and different configurations, but this is my favorite. I like the two-clip design because it adds a little bit of stability, and I really like having this wing, and it really keeps the grip of this gun tucked in. And also, this wing, when you buy the holster, will come with several different spacers, so you can make it as aggressive or less aggressive as you like. Next, I have my belt. So the belt that I carry with is the Core Essentials. So I did a video on this belt uh, probably about a year or two ago, and this is the exact same belt that I've been carrying with that entire time, uh, actually closer to two years, I would say now. You can see it's still holding its shape. It definitely has a little bit of wear here on the inside, but this is an extremely good belt, and I highly recommend it. When it comes to everyday carry, if you're carrying a lot of stuff, and especially if you're carrying a firearm, it is very important not to skimp on the belt. Um, you want a good, solid, rigid belt when it comes to your draw. Um, if your belt isn't consistent, if your holster isn't consistent, your draw never will be either. And here on the belt, you can see the way I've got my sheath mounted for my little CRKT. So that's the way it rides right there on the belt. And then my gun, of course, would sit right here. So that is basically my everyday carry. Um, it's not really anything too fancy. I've been carrying basically this same configuration of items for quite a few years now. And although the knives and lights could change a little bit over the years as things come out and evolve, for the most part, it'll probably always stay just like this. So that about wraps it up for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen here, definitely feel free to drop them in the comments. If you would like to contact me directly for any reason, my email is down in the description. And also, you can contact me on Instagram. And if you're not following me there, I would appreciate that as well. As always, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.